Ringwood Rams male squad, coaches, players, and everyone else included, welcome to the Ram Olympics. Um, it's a nice idea that you, myself, the vice captain, Matthew Fodia, Bas Fodia, is uh, what you'll be knowing me as from now, and the skipper, Patrick Ashton, who's in that little corner there. He's sipping a cup of tea here on a Sunday afternoon after the state has been declared a state of disaster. Um, so we thought, what better way to celebrate than to get something going to keep everyone engaged over these next six weeks. You'll notice we're joined, Patrick, by five outstanding gentlemen, and uh, they're going to be our team skippers. Thanks for that, Patrick. Adding exceptional co-host value. <laughs> In all serious, seriousness, glad to be co-hosting with Matt Fast Radio. Obviously, the media man. Um, so, privileged position to be here. But I'm just keen to hear the insights of all of, all of our captains and see the way the inaugural uh, Super Draft pans out. I'm, I'm looking forward yeah. to it. Just yeah, a question for you, Patrick. Just yes, a question yeah. for you, Patrick. Just wondering how the Wi-Fi connection is out there in Yarra Glen at the moment. How, how does it sound? I don't know. I, I was concerned <laughs> coming into this meeting, actually. It sounds better than I thought it would. So you've done yeah, well I'm pleasantly so surprised, if I'm honest. He's, he's got Meg out on the generator. Just <laughs> 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 All right, so we'll introduce the ideas before we introduce our skippers. But you should all know them, um, or at least most of you will know them. Basically, the idea initially is uh, a run to Perth. Obviously, Jacko's been running a few Ks in the, in the off-season as well for a better cause than this. But we're going to try and run to Perth in groups of about 10 or 11. Um, you'll need to download the app Strava. This will be on your screen now. Um, it's a free app. It records your running, your walking, your cycling, whatever. Um, free app, as I said there. Any exercise will count. Cycling, walking, running, crawling, whatever. Send it into your team skippers. First team that gets to Perth. Uh, the kilometres, I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it's a fair few. Uh, we'll win and there'll be a... Uh, there's an undisclosed prize that we haven't quite figured out yet. But there will... And the teams will continue with other challenges and so on throughout both this uh, lockdown and the year. Um, teams of like we said there's going to be a draft format as Pat alluded to but each captain has been allowed three marquee picks so they're three picks that are allowed of the, the squad before the draft went into it um, and they were able to, to get across the line it was first in best dress and unfortunately Maury um, I think he was on the tools a bit later than everyone else out there braving the, the big wide open world he actually got to pick last but I think he'll still be pretty happy with his picks didn't get um, camp first, what? you didn't get camp I think Sauce didn't played a bit camp. of tactical yeah. I'm going to have to have a word to source later, I think. It's a genuine dramatic twist. No camera is. I'm already well, getting Well, there was, I think Bobo put forward the idea of a trade a trade table. So I think Maury might be a bit busy at the trade table a bit later on. But before we get into the marquee picks, let's just go around the room. I guess it's a long time, no see, physically. Um, but Akers, you're back at the Rams this year, mate. And you're looking dapper as ever. Yeah, I um, obviously tried to class it up because I knew the blokes that would be on this call. Um, but yeah, no, good to be back at the Rams this year, mate. After a year off, uh, hitting the books, studying hard, and uh, going up and back between Sydney, so all that's clearly off now. Um, yeah. So plenty of time. And you made the right choice. Yeah, yeah, it <laughs> feels right now. <laughs> so uh, no, it's good to be back, mate. Thanks for having me, boys, and straight back into it. Yeah, absolutely, Saucy. You're, you've uh, taken time off COD to to join us tonight, mate. How how are you going? <laughs> Yeah, I'm not too bad, mate. Uh, the, the the squad's struggling without me there, but um, yeah, looking forward to the draft and yeah, see how we go. Absolutely, and and Bobo, you had a bit of a trim, knocked the sides off, mate. How are you enjoying lockdown? You you getting fit? Uh, yeah, well, we can say I'm getting fit. I think probably the best thing about lockdown is I've had a lot of time in the kitchen. Um, just finished my eggs and steaks for tonight's tonight's dinner, so looking forward to fueling up after the super draft. <laughs> Absolutely, Jacko. Speaking of fueling up, you've been doing a lot of fueling up after all your big runs, mate. How, how are the legs feeling? That almost have fallen off, wouldn't they? Uh, yeah, no, they're feeling all right. Thank you, Matthew. Fast phobia. Um, No, they're going all right at the moment. Obviously, throwing a bit of a spanner in the works with the old one hour a day. Um, so the longer Ks are going to be a bit of an interesting, uh, I guess. Yeah, I don't even know how to describe them. I'm still trying to get my head around it, to be honest, yeah. Matthew. Is Loz, Loz able to handball you her hour? Is that okay? Well, yeah, maybe I can... Uh, yeah, maybe we can talk about that, actually, later. So, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, but, no, it's just going to be... Uh, yeah, feeling all right at the moment. Legs are going well, looking after the body. And uh, I'm missing the Rams boys, mate, so it's good to be back. Absolutely. And raising a shit ton of money, which is good to see, mate. You've surpassed your goal pretty easily. 
yeah, yeah, plenty of uh, very generous mates and uh, and uh, family members and and whoever else. So yeah, feeling really grateful at the moment for all the support. So it's been awesome. No, it's great to see. And finally, Tech Wizard Maury, how are you enjoying it, mate? You went for a run with Big Jacko. How's he clocking? Big Jacko is flying at the minute, boys. He's the man to catch, I reckon. He is absolutely pounding the pavement, which is great news for the Rams, especially after the year he had last year. Hopefully, can put in another big year if we get a get a start. But um, yeah, lockdowns are not great for me. I like to get out and about and do things, but um, life goes on, and uh, yeah, getting a few runs under the belt. The two dogs are helping, so. Happy days. Absolutely. And, and your first venture on the Zoom, mate. How have you liked it so far? Mate, flying. I think I might become a professional. I might even invest in the in the company or something. I don't know. It's, it seems like my sort of thing. <laughs> I reckon you might, have, you might have just joined the boat a little bit too late, Maury, but I like your thinking. <laughs> oh, is it not Let's a get new in. thing? Is this an old thing? No, it's thing? not a new thing, mate. These bikes, they, they saw the pandemic coming. I reckon they uh, oh. had a wording. Well, bugger me. Exactly. We'll, we'll move on into the super draft. Um, as I said, so each each uh, captain got three marquee picks. And uh, Akers, you were first in best dressed. And uh, who have you gone with, mate? Yeah, so marquee picks, pretty strong list, to be honest, mate. So uh, it was tough just to narrow it down to three marquee picks. But I was pretty, pretty happy uh, that I've got a pretty well-rounded little team here. So my marquee picks, um, first and foremost, off, off the back of knee surgery, I see him getting out there now uh, and, uh, and putting those Ks back in the legs. Sam Howell, um, I thought that was a, a fairly good pick. Uh, yes, it is in rehab, but, you know, he's just getting long, long Ks done and um, he's, a, he's a good motor, Howie. A good motor. Um, my next marquee pick was an easy one. Um, you, don't have to, you don't have to look too far for courage and, uh, and you know, that determination uh, than going straight to the spin pit. So uh, picking Zachy Hayes out of the spin pit, uh, yeah. For my second marquee uh, pick, it was a really easy decision. Uh, and my third marquee pick spot uh, is a guy uh, obviously retur- returning to the Rams with, uh, with me this year, um, has owned a gym previously, is an absolute machine. Uh, I've seen him out in the track with Jacko, so you know he goes at a good clip as well. Uh, but that was a pretty easy pick in picking uh, Jack Blaine. Well, thank you very much. We're actually getting a bit of work through here because the, the Jack's going to join us on the line and, and what Patrick what we get Jack on the line what do you think about uh, Mark's three marquee picks there I think um, I I kick that, in, Jack. <laughs> Zach, Zach Hayes was a surprising call but I think a very good one um, obviously a spin pit man myself so I'm hoping to uh, potentially be selected by Mark Lee's crew who knows it, how it goes but yeah I'd be definitely keen to jump on board uh, with Zach Hay- Hayes also as a marquee player. Obviously, Jack Blaine, um, a strong performer, uh, performing a pretty sizzling workout today that I did see mm. on the Instagram. So, um, no, all really top selections there. Howley also, um, one man to also get around the Strava and post onto Instagram his his workouts. So, I think it's, yeah, it's, it's a strong team. Yeah, it's an educated uh attack to it and Blaney how are they hearing those words mate from the skipper how are how oh, excited are you to be on team Ackroyd yeah well it's it's news to me I'm not exactly sure what uh team I'm a part of and what we're doing but it's a privilege as ever you just get out of prison mate are you all right uh, it's a bit cold up in the hills mate I thought you'd know about that Jesus Christ scary scary no, mate. Okay, mate. I feel like it should be the NBA draft I should be giving him a cap uh, has T yeah, yeah, yeah. on it. He should be in his suit with his family. Well, he should be. He's not. He's definitely not in team uniform. You're on team Ackroyd Blaney. How have you been going fitness wise, mate? You know, we're running to Perth here. He thinks you're a good addition. Do you think you can live up to the hype? Well, I've got very little legs. Um, I tick him over, but slowly. So we'll we'll get there eventually. If it was a, a step challenge, uh, I think we'd definitely get in the lead. But <laughs> talk us through your workout today, Blaney. There's some sizzling looking stuff on there. Oh, a bit off far more than I could chew. Um, no, it was tough, mate. It was a bit of, bit of CrossFit-y type, a uh, good bit of a setup in the garage. So it was good to, to run through a bit of a, a barbell complex. Wow. Uh, Blaney, if you work. had to... Blaney, if this was the voice and you had to pick a captain, would you have chosen Akers? 100%. 
Yeah, that's good. That's a good sign, Akers. It seems like there's a bit of connectivity between them. Blaney, you're back at the Rams like Akers. How excited are you to be back, mate, pulling on the uh, a different blue and yellow? I'm very excited, mate. It's good to be back. It's obviously a little bit of an anti-climax uh, with everything going on in, in Melbourne at the moment, but um, I'm sure sure one way or another it'd be, be good to get stuck in when, whenever we do. So this is a good good segue, hopefully. So um, I'm looking forward to getting amongst the boys eventually. Absolutely. Well, congratulations, Blaney, on, on being the first marquee pick to join us here and, and good luck to you and Team Ackroyd uh, moving forward and hopefully you can uh, hit us up with a few of those sizzling workouts, as Patrick would put it. Sounds good. What pick did I go officially? <laughs> well, you will pick, you'll pick one of one of Akers' three marquee picks, so I think you can kind of pick one. Pick one in the draft, I'll tell you that. Thanks, yeah. Akers. No worries, mate. I've, as you know, Blaney, I've taken a keen interest in, in all of your career and um, all the scouting reports came back pretty good after your year off, and uh, it was a pretty easy pick. Thank you, mate. Maury's not happy with that. You, uh, you, uh, what's so funny about that, Chris? Nah, it's just good to have Akers back. What a man. <laughs> <laughs> it's an yeah, incredible you're, dress. You're kind of, welcome. I feel horribly underdressed. That's okay, mate. We'll That's get you in right. team kit soon enough. Oh, I look forward to it. I'd love to see Akers running the streets of uh, Brunswick Fitzroy in, in a suit. I think that could be extra points. Um, Blaney, you're welcome to stick around for a bit longer. I think, Sauce, you're next. What were your three marquee picks, mate? Uh, he picked one. was uh, I went with a bit of youth, and I'm pretty sure he's the, the 2K time trial leader. So I went with Flynn Smith. Uh, he loves loves running, the young fella. So he was a no-doubt sure thing of a first pick. Uh, my next one was a bit of a tactical move, uh, trying steal him away from Maury. I went with Michael Campbell. I know, I know, Maury won't be pretty happy with that, about that one, but yeah, it'll be good for the camaraderie for the lads. And the other one was Clayton Anderson. Um, he's a bit lazy at the moment, the big giraffe, but being close mates with him, I reckon I'll be able to whip him into some form. I was about to say you can contractually oblige to pick Clayton, mate. You, you never, you know, separated that far. You guys would be struggling with the, the current situation. Yeah, it was. Uh, it would have been tough if we weren't on the same team. So I thought. Thought I'd do the nice thing and, yeah, pick him in my side. Everyone else, what's your read on Sauce's picks there? Flynn Smith's a good one. The other two, maybe a bit of a question mark there? Uh, long stride length on Clayton helps. Mm. Almost the opposite to your selection criteria with Blaney, which yeah. is interesting to see the two sides going in different directions. Yes, I feel mm. like... Uh, I feel like uh, Flynn Smith is going to do a lot of the work, uh, a lot mm. of the carrying. <laughs> 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 um, so, yeah, well played, Sauce. Thank you. Absolutely. Some nice tactics there, Sauce. And you can head back to, to GTA, mate, for a bit. We'll call on you when you're next required. Bobo, Thank you're you. next up, mate. What, your three marquee picks. Yeah, um, so I've gone for a, a new player of the club to start off our marquee pick. Um, local boy to my location, uh, Josh Hudson. Uh, Transformation King, uh, bloke's doing a lot of work and a lot of running. Uh, so thought he's an easy pick because he's going to do a bulk of the work in our group. Next, uh, want a bit of character in the, in the group. So I want to get the boys up and about. Um, but So I've gone with Trent Wynn. Um, a lot of energy, especially in this lockdown period, I feel like he's going to have to do something. So running and walking is going to have to be one of those things. So Trent Wynn's going to be a part of the group. Premiership player from last year as well. So you've got to support those boys. And finally, um, I went for a DNA sort of link here. So with Jacko doing all his running, I thought, you know what, Tyson Freeman has got it in his genetics to get some caves in as well. So keeping it local as well. A lot of one turner boys in that in those three. So uh, Tyson Freeman's going to get me over the line with those kilometres in his legs. Who's Jacko? You, you were... Uh, a couple of facial expressions there with a couple of those picks. Well, um, just with the the bloodlines with old Keith, um, <laughs> he might not. Yeah, he might not be uh, running, uh, doing a lot of running Ks, but he's been on the bike, so yeah. I think there could be a few bike Ks that might uh, might help you out there, Bobo. Um, and I hope. To, <laughs> I, I think we all need to have a chat to Trent Win about all of his Jack Daniels. Uh, <laughs> We say addiction at the moment, so <laughs> I think we might need to be sweating them out on a on a weekend too. So um, I think, yeah, think we need to get behind system. that young fella. I'm thinking what was that, Bobo? I'm thinking you're putting on a reward system for it for every K he completes, he can have a drink of Jack Daniels. Okay, 
It'd be like hard it. to police that, Bobbo, but I like the idea. <laughs> Pat, you, Pat, you, any thoughts on Bobbo's selections? Oh, I'm, I'm interested in uh, the Fridges transformation, Jay Hudson. Talk us through that, Bobbo, as one of his really good mates. Talk us through how he's gone about that. Um, he's, actually, he's worked his ass off, actually. So he's actually been really working pretty hard since well, the last few months. I think he's dropped, I don't know how much weight he's dropped, but the boy's changed his, um, changed his life completely, pretty much. And he's doing a lot of running, um, working out all the time. I was with him today, he went for a run today, um, this afternoon. And yeah, he's looking in real good shape. So I reckon he'll be a good one for us this year. And Cricket related as well. I reckon he'll bring a lot to the to the range this year. Obviously, being a new player. So the un- the unofficial weight loss is twenty five kegs, I think, from Septemberish last year to now, mm. which is which is pretty incredible. And Bobo did point out a good uh, point there. Him and uh, Hutto are within the five k radius, so they'll be able to work out together, which is um an added bonus for them. Blaney, are you a bit threatened now with Hutto going there at pick three? No, he's okay. I'm just wondering, Akers, how many k's are you from uh, from Lourdes, mate? Yeah, it's uh, it's a trek, mate. Um, so illegal probably, as of today. <laughs> you probably won't see me going down there. Uh, I'll, 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 it's all right. I'll just be cutting laps at Princess Park, keeping an eye on the Carlton boys for us, and and doing some scouting that way. Who who Is are it, our other two? I, I wasn't logged in then. We've got uh, we've got Zach Hayes. So obviously um, keeping it within the spin pit, and uh, and we've got Sam Howe because he's a big tractor, big engine, big motor. The workhorse. Yeah. I like it. Speaking of workhorses, Jackson, your marquee yep. picks, mate. There's, you know, I, I like the look of the first two. The third one clearly just experience trying to shine. Yeah, through. I've got a bit of a theory for the third one there, Matthew. So first off the rank, um, I, I fair to say probably surprised a lot of blokes in his time trial. Um, <laughs> Conspiracy theory a, coming out here. Yeah, he's a bit of an enigma. Um, no one really knows where he lives or what he does or and whatever, but. <laughs> Obviously, his stats are telling that he's uh, he's running a lot. Uh, if he can uh, bust under seven minutes for a two k time trial, so I've picked uh, Bailey the the nuisance Eustace, uh <laughs> as my number one pick. Uh, probably more for uh, just the interesting, I think, things that I'm going to see on his Strava. Uh, yep. One to figure out where he actually lives and where he socialises. Um, but I'm just interested to see uh, on how he actually goes. So it's a bit of an investigation, I, I guess, as well. Um, so I'm really... He can't hide forward. anymore, can he, Jacko? He can't hide now. Well, no, nah, it's all going to come out, except, um, yeah, I'm sure he'll find a way maybe to <laughs> fudge, fudge a few Ks in there, but who knows? We'll see how we go. So I'm... Being his car, you reckon, Jacko? Yeah, he's I don't know. His car or something? Yeah, he's, he's my team, mate. an hour. He's, he's my teammate right now, but I'm throwing him under the bus. So I reckon uh, uh, we'll see how we go there. So I'm a bit worried, but I'm also excited for that little uh, that, that draft pick. And uh, I actually got this tip off uh, off the Prez, uh, a.k.a. Dad. Um, got, got the tip off to follow Zach Flintoff on Strava. And I have been for the last two or, three, two or three months. And he is an absolute athlete, absolutely flying around at the moment, uh, regularly doing 10 to 12 Ks every second day and doing it about just under four minutes. So um, really, really looking forward to him, uh, you know, providing on the Strava and getting us to Perth. Um, Yeah, so obviously a new fellow to the club. Uh, We know the last name in the flint off, but I reckon he's going to be one of the elite runners of the uh, of the group. So, thought that was a really good pick from uh, from Captain Freeman there. Uh, And the last one that I've picked here, yes, bit of experience here, Matthew, with uh, Brendan Walsh. Um, Obviously, living down on the uh, at Mornington now, but the theory is that it doesn't matter how fast we get there; it's just as long as we get there. So. I feel like the big Clydesdale will just be able to just churn out the Ks. And I've heard around the rumour mill that he's, uh, he's a bit of a mammal down there now. So a um, bit, bit of a middle-aged man in Lycra. Loves getting on the bike on the, uh, on the beach road around Mornington and just pumping out the Ks on the bike. So the big man, Brennan Walsh, I think is going to do a, just a consistent job for us. Just similar to how he spins on a weekend. Just really mm. consistent. So just looking for a really consistent effort out of big, the big Walsh man. So uh, they're my three selections. Uh, yeah, 
think we've got some exciting talent in there, but it's some also just some uh, some tractor like work, like uh, like the captain likes. Mm. Absolutely, I, that's particular yeah. nicknames come to mind from your top three. Uh, particular nicknames, yeah, uh, yeah, you're throwing me under here. Uh, yeah, I did, I did rank, I, I did kind of give a few little ones here. So I said uh, Bailey, Bailey the cheat, Zach the wizard, <laughs> and Brendan the tractor. So um, I think, I think, you know, the cheat. The cheat. well, it's a horrible allegation. It is a horrible one. Um, but again, I can't like I said, the rank so early. Yeah, I feel like I'm a. I feel like I'm doing some good, uh, uh, some good detective work here. So we'll, I'm sure you'll find out over the next uh, few weeks if it's a true nickname or if I'm uh, if I'm up for some sort of, uh, yeah, lashing by Inter- the public. Interesting motiv- motivational ploy, regardless, <laughs> <Yeah>. Jackson. <laughs> Prove I'm, you're not a cheat, Bailey. <laughs> well, I'm just interested. Um, <laughs> Jackson Spears raised a question for me. Um, do, do we need any pictorial evidence of these jogs? Um, mainly, I just want to see Brendan Walsh in Lycra, if I'm honest. No, well, <laughs> there might be extra points. Obviously, Strava will actually evidence the actual running and most will get a GPS reading to show where you've run, which is what Jacko wants to see for Bailey. But in oh. terms of pictorial evidence, um, it'd be great to get it out of him. So I'll leave that with the team skippers. I, I think extra extra kilometre for every picture of Brendan Walsh in Lycra. Um, if anyone else is down on the morning to Peninsula and can can get us some paparazzi snaps, that'd be great. I'd uh, almost guarantee mentioned. there's no courtesy shorts happening. <laughs> oh, you wouldn't. You'd, no, you wouldn't think so. You wouldn't think so, Big Brendan. You'd, and I like Jacko's analogy there. He's pretty much just going to do the equivalent of nice bowls, isn't he? It's not going to be fancy. It's going to be no tricks and frills. He's just going to get the job done. And uh, it should be. It should be. He, He's a, a smoky there, Jacko. I like it. Not a yeah, bad pick. Team, team player, mate. You know, he's got to play your role. And he knows it. He knows his role. And uh, he's just going to tick him over um, really slowly. But, you know, he'll get it done. He's a consistent performer. So, looking forward to it. Absolutely. And speaking of consistent performers, Maury, who have you gone with, mate? You were last down. As we said, you're the only one with a real job. Um, so, you were out there slugging it away on the tools. You didn't have a chance to, to jump in. Who have you taken with your three marquee picks? Well, I think the boys have all missed out on, on the three key ones here. So, unlucky to them. I've gone um, with the two big heroes from last year. I've gone with um, Corkers and Humper to bring us home. As, as we're going across the Nullarbor, he'll, those two boys will just hit us for six and just get us across the line, I reckon. Um, they're, they're obviously the two um, young up-and-coming um, fast left-arm bowlers. So, um, looking to push up into the twos. They should be doing plenty of work. But, yeah, like I said, um, they're, they're the ones to bring us home. They brought the thirds home last year. So that was my thinking um, with those two there. Um, and then we've got um, Rowan Irvine, obviously the small man himself. Um, hopefully he doesn't break down just leaving Melbourne. Um, but he's uh, got plenty of experience. Hopefully he can uh, lend a hand with the group as far as um, some different training drills, um, different running programs, that sort of stuff. So gone a bit more... Um, on the, uh, oh, what would you say, the, the book work sort, sort of side of things, hopefully. Can, yeah, you got to do this. Yeah. Maury's yeah. gone the money ball approach. Yeah, you know, and he might just bring, he might just bring something special in and, you know, if we get a little injury here or there, you know, you never know, you might be able to pop over for a quick massage. But, um, Rowan's got a, he's got a dodgy injury history. Well, are you worried that he might break down halfway across to Adelaide? He weighs 20 kilos. I'll just put him on my back. <laughs> Right. <laughs> any, anyone else got any comments about Maury's trio? Zach Corker, you know, he's a bit of a space cadet. Are you worried he might get lost on the Nullar ball? Take a nah. take a left turn where there is none. That's all right. We lose one we lose one soldier, we'll be right. <laughs> Forging on the team more house approach. <laughs> mate, you've heard of the other marquee picks now, mate. Are you pretty confident with Team McElroy? Yeah, I think we'll be okay. I'm a bit disappointed. I don't know how the, the draft system worked, but given Given my encouraging words to Jacko during the week, I was probably a little bit hopeful he might have been a bit more endorsing of me. But, um, but no, I'm, I'm very, very happy with, with our, our selection so far. No prisoners, I would have thought, with Jacko. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sorry. Apparently not. Sorry, Blaney. <laughs> no, I, oh, think you you were, I think you were taken before. Akers was too quick on it um, mm-hmm. because he's such a, you know, he's a desk jockey. He's always sitting on the desk and he's, he's always at his computer on his phone basically glued to his hand so he was first pick and uh i think he whipped you up early mate so apologies for that 
Yeah, no problems, mate. No hard yeah. feelings. Still well, love you. Thanks. Thanks for joining us for the number one pick, Jack Vine. That's something you can add to your Twitter bio, mate. Um, you know, we, and we can't wait to see the, the numbers you're throwing out on the track. So enjoy the, the rest of your Sunday evening, mate, and good luck with it all. Thank you, gents. Speak to you soon. See you, Jack. Thank you, right, There you go. Okay, we've got our marquee picks out of the way. We're going to enter into the draft, Patrick. Now, this is your time to shine. Uh, you're going to tell us who's got the first pick, Pat. Pick a name at random out of our skippers, and they'll be able to pick two players from the list at once. So you'll go two players each. Let's, and, uh, let's hit... go with Joshy Hartill. Haven't heard much out of him for a while. He's going to come out of his lair of darkness. <laughs> Joshy, you've got... <laughs> yeah, turn the light on, please, John. <laughs> 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 Don't want Big Hanky walking in around the corner, Big Frank the Tank. But, uh, yeah, very nervous. You've got, you've got two draft picks here, Saucy. Uh, whack at us and explain your decision. Um, this one's pretty easy. The skipper getting the good books early. Paddy Ashton. <laughs> uh, I think that, yeah, pretty self-explanatory. And then also a very younger guy who's coming back to the club. Um, yeah, just bringing, bringing the youth back into our club um, and into our team, uh, Matty Mountain. So I reckon with the youth, we'll be able to churn out the Ks. Absolutely. Paddy, are you excited to be uh, under the, the guidance of Big Saucy? Absolutely. And I'm really excited also to rub shoulders with our very own Mo Farah in Flynn Smith as well. Um, that's pretty exciting to uh, go alongside him, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, we're going to be right up there in the team on our team. Absolutely. Good Good couple of picks there, Saucy. Anyone a bit disappointed that they couldn't latch on to the skipper there? Or they're happy to see him slide over to Team Hartill? <laughs> I think that's one of those questions that there's no right answer to. <laughs> there we go. We'll leave that one ready. Paddy, <laughs> the next couple of picks. <laughs> yeah, with Bobo. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, um, with my first pick in the draft here, I've I've gone for youth as well here, um, and sort of just more a bit of a hero pick as well with his work that he did for the Premiership side last year in the third eleven. So, um, with his young growing legs. I've picked up Mishwa. Um, I think uh, with the amount of bowling that, that this boy does, uh, they'll have to count for his kilometres, I would assume. So uh, I've no doubt he'll get the work in. Um, and then I've gone the opposite end of the spectrum here. So we've, we've started off with some youth and now I'm looking for a bit of a bit of maturity, a um, bit of experience. And I've uh, picked up Paul Montgomery as a uh, as my next pick. I think uh, okay. it'd be really good having his training programs for our team this year. He'll, uh, he'll take, us, take us all the way to Perth, I think, and, uh, and help the boys along the way with all his walking and what he's been doing in the local area. You've gone with two options there. You know, Paul loves a chat. Vishwa, not, not the most confident with, with his verbals. He's definitely yeah. going to grow and blossom. And that is that, is that something you're trying to do there, Bobo? Mix the, mix the two? Um. Yeah, let's go. Let's, let's, let's say yes to that question. I think uh, Vishwa and, and Monty can, can work together really well with their, their verbal communication through the year. And um, I think it'll be a strength to Vishwa going forward, just being around Monty. Absolutely. Uh, anyone a bit shattered they didn't get hold of the next big thing in leg spin bowling? Oh, personally, I am. Uh, the more spin pit I could get, the better. But uh, I understand Bobo's choice and I would have done the exact same thing. Yeah, unfortunately for you, mate, pick pick hasn't come your way. Patrick, who's got the next spin of the wheel? Go with Markley. Yeah. Um, so yeah, plenty of plenty of good names still left on the list, which is which is good. Uh, my next two picks, uh, I've gone with uh, Will Spencer and Jordan Ludgater. Um, look, pretty excited to have them both on my list. Uh, I know both of them will put in the effort for for Team Ackroyd, and um, you know. Personally, I've seen Croc uh, do a, a ton of Ks chasing balls that um, that people have hit off me. So I know he'll be able to, <laughs> to he'll be able to put in the Ks, and he's always got that Garmin strapped to him. So he's uh, he'll, he'll be clocking in the correct Ks and uh, making sure he does the work. So pretty happy with those two. It's an interesting selection. I, I like it, and you're clearly using your memories of uh, of people and, and their work ethic. And Ludd, as he gets the head down, you know, doesn't complain much. Which is, which is a good good thing to have on your team. Yeah. Good cultural Absolutely. fit. Absolutely. Patrick, fourth pick. Come on, Jacko. 
All right. Um, interested in this little draft pick here. I hope uh, I hope Strava works. Um, I know you mentioned crawling before. What about climbing, Matthew? Does it does it mention anything about climbing? If it, if it's going to measure, it's going to measure the K's, mate. It'll measure the well, K's. It might be elevation so. gained. Let's hope so because if this uh, if if this bloke's uh, you know gets Strava on and he gets up the tree, um, I think we're going to be uh, going pretty well. So big big Joey, big forearms, Joey Lorem. Uh, let's hope Strava works when he's up the uh, the big mountain ash out of Gippsland down there. Um, so I'm hoping I'm hoping that that does happen because I can't imagine him clicking over too many k's to be honest. Um, and then we've gone with uh, some some serious uh, some serious experience there. In uh, we've also picked up uh, Sean Flynn, who uh, also known as the coach this year. So Flynnie, really consistent performer, looking for like a Brum. Brum type effort out of uh, Flinny, um, and I think he will we will uh, set the standard for his two young fellas too. So looking forward to that. He's one of the most competitive men I've ever met as well, Jacko. So that's a, that's another bonus for your team. You, you spoke about Joe Lurum there. Do, do we have confirmation that Lurum got five laps done on an abstract? Uh, confirmation is negative. Uh, <laughs> I actually, <laughs> I actually. <laughs> Bumped into him at Coles here in uh, lovely Croydon on Friday night. Um, and he basically said no. He hasn't done <laughs> it. So, um, so we're still waiting on it. He, he says, oh, look, I'm a premiership player. I'm a, what, well, two-time? Three. Three-time. Three-time premiership player. Um, and he said, I don't need to do 2K time trial. Um, so uh, we'll see how that goes. Well, you're going to have... You know, you've got Joe there, and you, but you've got Brendan and Flinny there to help motivate um, the likes of him. So it's it's an interesting team you're building there, Jacko. So yes. I'm interested to see how it will go. Thank you, thank you, Matthew. And Maury, you, you're up, mate. Spin the wheel. Who are you, you going to pick? Yeah, um, Ryan Masters, random unit, um, but he never drives anywhere. He always on his bike or riding. So I think he's an unsuspecting victim of this strata so if he can work out like me how to download onto his phone he'll um he'll go the journey i reckon old masto and um nice pick. the other ones uh mark freeman plays a lot of golf a lot of k's in the legs um if he can just turn that up on why he's shooting around our 18 we're uh happy days we're home and hosed i reckon so the big prez he'll get us home and if he can't he'll pull some strings somewhere else and we'll bring it home some way some other way well one thing I do know is Mark Freeman does have Strava. Unfortunately, oh. Maury, the state of disaster means no golf, but he is riding his bike, isn't he, Jacko? He is. Uh, he's setting a he's setting a good clip on the on, on the runs. So um, uh, he was running late this morning. Actually, it was quite funny. He was running late, and uh, I just see him fanging down the hill like Cadell Evans. So he's uh, he probably needs an update of the bike to be honest, because uh, it looks like it needs a bit of a grease and oil update. But um, yeah, loves it, and, uh, and I'm sure. Sure, Mandy Freeman would love to send him out of the house for an hour a day and get him on the bike. So, Dude, uh, I, I reckon, I reckon you're right, Maury. I reckon it's a good pick. How's that's, his hips that's... going? That's what I want to know. His hips, his hips, fine. Fully recovered. He reckons, uh, he reckons he should be running, but he's just gonna uh, just see how he goes. So, on the bike he is and uh, nice. pumping him out, churning him. Perfect. There we go. Well, Maury, we're going to go the reverse snake. You're going to have the next pick again, Maury, to make sure it's even and Source doesn't keep getting the advantage. So you've got another two picks, mate. Have a have a crack at it. Oh, who are we going to go? Jeez. Um, we've got JP. JP's an absolute elite athlete here. Um, so yeah, he could he could be one that just um just naturally gets a plenty of K's in the legs there, mm. which is um handy to have. Um. And then we've got the old, the old warhorse, uh, Sam Wade. Um, similar, similar sort of setup to Jacko um, with Brum there. Um, doesn't get there quick, but um, we'll just get the job done. Bit of experience, knows when to go, when knows when to stay. So big Wadey, um, he'll get the job done for me, I think. And he's a happy-go-lucky character, isn't he, Wadey? So yep. he should be good for team morale when you, you're Correct. struggling. Yep, that's the one. Absolutely. I think Maury's figured out this. Uh, he might not have figured out Zoom this quickly, but he's figured out the super draft. Jacko, your next two picks? Yeah, look, I've gone for two young fellas that um, are new to the club this year. 
and I've purely gone off the basis that I really like their names. So um, Gilbert Harrys and Jonathan Farrand or Farrand, unsure how to pronounce it, but really like the, I re just really like their names, strong names. Um, I've got no idea how they go on the case, um, but being young fellas, assuming they're probably maybe at school, uh, homeschooling now, probably a little bit more time to get out and about and get the, the Ks in the legs. So, yeah, two strong names and uh, I think two strong performers. Yeah, it's, it's a nice selection. I think Gilbert's had knee worries, so he'll be chomping in recent times. So he'll be chomping at the bit to get back out there, much like Haley will for Rackers' team. And speaking of, Mark, have another crack at it. Yeah, um, so I've, uh, I've, I've taken, a, taken a leaf out of the Sir Alex Ferguson strategy here. He, he likes having uh, a good mix of age in his, in his football teams. So I'm, I'm going at both ends of the spectrum here. I've, I've picked Archie Flynn, uh, strong pedigree, obviously. Uh, and I'm going with Jason Evans to round it out as well. Um, yeah. Gives me just that good variety on either, either, either end of my team. So I'm pretty happy with those two. Have you had much involvement with either of those two gentlemen yeah. outside of the uh, career club? No, I've slim to none. Uh, but you know, if there's... If there's <laughs> There's ever a time to get to know people. It's uh, it's on a trek across the Nullarbor to Perth, but absolutely plenty of time to, to run through common interests and alike. It's it's an interesting pick. Archie Flynn, very competitive, Patrick, and he's well into his stocks as well. So could be a bit of a rich get rich quicks game as well. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's a nice pick considering Acker's um, uh, work that he does. I think mm. he'll be able to pick up a few things there for sure. Yeah. Nice little uh, budding combination going on, Bobo. You know, as the lights dim down out there in, in one turn of south, what have you got for us? Um, I've gone for a, for a bustling uh, left arm medium uh, in my side. I think uh, just having the boys bustle around the streets will be good. So we'll look at Braden Harvey with the next pick. Um, and then I've gone for another young fella, just someone to pair with Vishwa um, in Ben O'Dwyer, just to keep the youth in the squad. Um, it's going to be a long trip to the, across the Nullarbor, so... It's going to be tough. <clears throat> anyway, Dwyer's already on Strava. Turned out 10 Ks today, Bobo. So it's a very educated pick. And uh, yeah, I like it. A nice bit of youth there. Um, yeah. And with with yeah. your youth, Bobo, um, as a former, oh, the current holder of Mr. Ringwood, actually, how do you plan on sculpting those young men? Um, I think it all comes down to nutrition with them. So obviously, uh, in the process of teeing up a subway, sponsorship for the team, Bob. <laughs> Um, so hopefully uh, they jump on board and keep the sugars up with the cookies and uh, and fueling up with plenty of footlongs. <laughs> how did you how did you go about getting Subway on board, Bob? That's quite a coup for the club. Um, well, when you're a loyal member such as myself, uh, just a quick email, um, speak to management, and uh, just getting things in place step by step. You got to take all the little steps, but yeah, they they support their their local legends, and I just so happen to be one of them. Do they do they deliver now, Bobbo? They do deliver. They, okay. they definitely... So you're right for the next six weeks then? Yeah, free promo code on Uber Eats as well at the moment, I believe. So free delivery uh, on Uber Eats. So that's, 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 is this that's a not sponsored a sponsored podcast? Plug. That's not a, that's <laughs> not a paid plug. For everyone at home, that's not a paid plug. That's genuinely Bobbo just promoting Subway. Um, <laughs> but have a passion we... in life. Before we get lost in Bobbo's favourite subway order, we're going to go over to um, Heathmont where Frank's cut the power. <laughs> <laughs> I need to turn oh, the light off. Candles, please. <laughs> <laughs> Hank, Hank's just said, Source, I've had enough of you, Tom Tillery in there playing bloody PlayStation. Um, Might be his go for us, Source. What's your next two picks? <laughs> um, I've gone with a premiership player and a, a new assistant coach to our club, uh, Matty Gale. Uh, a menace on and off the field, and I'm hoping he can uh, churn some Ks for us. And also a new player. Um, look forward to getting to know the, the young fella, um, Zach Gretsch. So, yeah, not don't know much about him, but, yeah, can't wait to learn more and become closer on this on this trip. Howdy, Jacko. You, you have spent some time with Gailey. What source, you know, mentioned that he's a bit of a... Now, outgoing chap, what would you say to Source, you know, to describe his newest team member? Ooh. Ooh. To, to describe Gailey. Yeah, perhaps yeah. we keep it PG rated. Yeah, as, as much as we can. 
Um, he's very um, he's very similar to a Chris O'Brien when it comes to uh, getting in the getting in the contest. So um, I think when he when he does or when he will go for a run, um, he'll be very motivated and determined. And uh, it, yeah, I'd hope there's no old ladies in front of him because I reckon he'll be uh, giving a bit of a hip and shoulder and <laughs> give him a bit of a send off. So uh, yeah, we'll keep it PG though. Anything to add to that, Pat? Or you, you think no, Jacko no, summed well, it up? Well summed up. Fellow Ginger to add to our team. Um, obviously, our fifth and leader, Josh Hartill, perhaps he should take off that cap. Might light up the room a little bit. Uh, yeah. Got to do something. I'm, I'm, it's a, darker in that room than it actually is outside at the moment. So, of course, living in, in, in the deep, dark underworld. Sauce, you got another couple of picks, mate. What have you got for us? Um, yeah, as, um, just, yeah, as I said, keeping it pretty young. Um, Luke Perry um, and Phoenix Beck. So, yeah, just trying to keep it pretty young. And, yes, hopefully they can churn out some caves for us. Phoenix, Phoenix, I reckon, will, will give you something. Once he sets his mind to something, he, he gets it done, doesn't he, boys? 100%. For those who spent some time with Phoenix last year. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> <thanks. laughs> All right, back around. Bobbo, who have you got, mate? You've, you've got a nice blend going on. Uh, well, sticking on the on the youth team and the uh, and the Walter team, um, my next selection is Alex Mann, uh, another Templeton type end boy. So we've got three Templeton type end juniors running around in this team now. So Alex Mann, new boy to the club, um, be a good inclusion. Um, next inclusion, I've got uh, big uh, Angus Adamson uh, living out in the country. I assume his restrictions are going to be less. So he's in Hillsville, he- Bob. <laughs> Uh, that's in the country. And so hopefully he can just run around and do his thing. He lives so far away. I'm hoping he's out of the COVID area. In is, 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 is there confirmation he's trimmed his locks? Is that, has that actually happened? It's true. True. He's, 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 gone the, he's got the haircut. So aerodynamic now. So he improved pace of the running. Smart choice. That sort of neck of the woods out there in, in the outback, as Bobo would have it. Is there COVID in, in the far nether regions of Hillsville? I haven't heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it is part of metropolitan Melbourne, Matthew. Yeah. Yeah, well, Bobo's going to have to debate that. We're going to have to send that to the the, uh, the courts, I guess, to, to figure that out, whether Angus can run further than five kilometres away. But a couple of handy picks there, Bobo. Interesting. Uh, Akers, someone who is definitely a metropolitan Melbourne. What have you got for us next? Yeah, yeah. Uh, 3056 in a Brunswick represent. Um, <laughs> so, my next two picks, uh, two of the future superstars of our club. Um, surprise, they're still on the table for me. So, pretty happy to get uh, Benny Gibson and Ethan Walker with my next two picks. Um, I just think they're both two young up-and-coming legends. Um, and I'm really, really happy to have them on board. Um, you know, sticking with the little leg part of the team with Gibbo on there, um, he, he ticks them over pretty quick. And, uh, and Ethan's just a, a powerhouse. Um, so um, big, strong lad, pretty keen to get him on the, uh, on the treddy or on the bike as well. Bit of a mystery box, is Ethan. Sometimes you don't think he talks at all. Then he, he has a couple of courage cans and he's, he's flying off the, the hammer. So we'll see how he goes on the running track. It'll be interesting. Uh, next off the bat, it's uh, Big Jay Freeman building this team ever so quietly. Yeah, it's an interesting team, isn't it? But um, we're going to go with a little bit more randomness here as well. And uh, he was on my mind, but uh, Chris O'Brien's going to join the team. Um, have been seeing a few little posts here and there that he's been doing some running. Um, so looking forward to Obi. Uh, yeah, pounding the pavement, which I'm sure he will uh, do for me. Um, as I've played a lot of lot of time under Obi, so now this time I get to kind of you know captain him. Um, he won't be, yeah, I won't be telling him any theories that he told me over the years. So looking forward to that one. Uh, and also I had to pick uh, my good mate Aussie Callo. So big Oz, probably one of the nicest guys going around. And uh, we did survive a car trip up with David King up to the Pracky Games last year up to the bush. So. If we can survive a car trip with David King together, I reckon he's going to be able to uh, supply me with a few kilometres. Uh, yeah, looking forward yeah, to he's, that. So good on he's yours. Clearly showing mental fortitude there to, to get through a fairly long car trip with 
I can only be described as a pig of a man. So yeah. it's, it's it's a nice pick, Jagger. Yeah, he was the only one that could stay awake and actually have a chat to me while Davo was kind of pass out in the back seat with Maccas halfway down his shirt and whatever else. So yeah. That was on the way up, not on the way down. <laughs> I've actually still got a stain in my car from David King where, he's, where he uh, dropped his Maccas. So on your Davo. That's our rider medalist. Yeah. Club, Ken, club Ken, play, Ken play the game. Ken play the game. Good at cricket. And he's a recent homeowner as well. It's all things coming up, Davo. I mean, and his, his knees should be right, Jacko. So hopefully we'll see Davo get out of a walk and, and start flying up and down the, the, the track. I believe it when I see it, Matthew. I believe it when I see it. <laughs> Common theme in your team. You've got Lurum, Eustace, and, and now David King. You're just trying to. No, I don't have I mean, that. No, no, no. no. <laughs> no. <laughs> right, mate, you just you just keep to the you just keep to the questions, all right? So just keep going. We'll do. Maury, question for you. Who are your next two picks? Yeah, we got the two angry boys actually. Um, we got Jake Carter and um, Jack Beer. So those two boys will just really whip us into line if we um fall out of that single file line across across the uh, across the WA. So those two boys can bring um a plenty of uh beer in the other other team's eyes hopefully so um if we can't get there first at least we can scare a few blokes along the way so um pretty happy with those two men on my team i reckon um jack beer is a young bloke loves a run so he's um he's up there with some of the best runners here at ramland so and um yeah obviously jakey carter just being that angry angry presence in the team can't wait to see how those two boys go i'm surprised that has let Carto slip through the net you've always been a great admirer of the uh, the angry man Big admirer of Carzo. Uh, I've been lucky enough to play some games with him and I know he can't be controlled and I, I didn't back myself to, to try. <laughs> so I just got out of his way and, and left him to Maury. Yeah, I'll be right. But if he if he runs wild, it's not my problem. <laughs> Bit of a wild brumby just crossing yeah. the number more there. Yeah. You've got the Bash Brothers, Maury. It's a very <laughs> Mighty Ducks-esque approach. That's how we roll, mate. Absolutely. And then you, you can finish off your team here, Maury. Who are your final two picks? Yeah, final two picks. We've got um, the young Harry Flynn. I think he played a couple of games with us last year. And I think um, lucky for everybody to see the way that he ran um, when we had a 1K time trial along um, around the Ramland there. And um, he absolutely tore it up. So hopefully um, he's uh, doing the same thing now. Um, action down those Ks and he'll be the um, unsuspecting victim I think in our team of just punching out a shitload of Ks so oh sorry about that but he'll get, <laughs> he'll, get um, he'll get plenty of Ks under the belt and then um, obviously swinging the hammer all week and getting onto this um, uh, draft period pretty late I've been left with the absolute bottom of the barrel here Dave the King, team. Dave King he's going to do nothing for us so nothing really to say about Davo it's the Hopefully, he's just in the nets hitting balls back in Melbourne. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah. What, we, Harry Flynn's a great pick. He uh, ran great a marathon pick. recently in his spare time. So, that's a thing that people do. Jacko's training for one. He just ran one. Um, so, that's a good pick. But, yeah, you've, you've candled it out with, yeah. with Davo. So, interesting, Maury. Can, it's, it's... Or something? can we sub him on later or something? Like, can we just leave him? It's... We it's might even make like... David's case double. Bit of a Did you hear the... Um, uh... Did you hear the interesting story about why uh, Flinny ran the marathon? No, go for it, Jago. So apparently, while we were doing a little bit of that, uh, that walk the other day, I was talking to the coach, the coach Flinny, and uh, he said that Archie, uh, as of younger of a couple of years, I think, to uh, or Harry, Archie actually beat him in a goal kicking contest uh, at the Oval, and uh, Harry wasn't too too keen on that and wasn't too happy, so he said to said to Dad Flynn, look, I'm just going to go for a run and uh, ended up running all the way from North Ringwood to Wellington Road and back and uh, ticked over the marathon just because his younger brother beat him in a goal kicking contest. So he's, uh, he's committed there, Maury, and I reckon he's got a little bit of fire in the belly. So what we want. Yeah, good call. Nice. You happy with your team, Maury? I'm pretty happy, yeah. Happy with that. We got a bit of angry, like, like Akka said before, a bit of Mighty Ducks action. You know, we might not be the cleanest cut team in the in the world, but um, I think we'll get the job done. Um, we just got to all band together, and um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll see you boys um, when you uh, finally get there. <laughs> <laughs> Look forward to seeing you in the finish line, Maury. Let's finish off some other teams, Jacko. Yeah, last two picks, mate. Yeah, look, uh, left these two for last. Um, not for well, there's there's one particular reason, but. Uh, with uh, old Corey Deneen, um, had a few knee issues in the past. 
Um, but good to good to see him uh, back this year. Um, obviously, um, really good person to have in the group. Provides a lot of banter, and uh, so looking forward to that. And also, uh, obviously, he's got the pedigree too, uh, with uh, his older brother being an AFL uh, boundary umpire, and uh, both his parents very elite runners. Uh, so looking forward to hopefully Deneen pulling a finger out and uh, helping us out. So. Um, and that comes down to my last pick, which uh, is interesting because he's probably one of the better runners at the club. Um, but unfortunately, he's suffered a bit of a knee injury and he's coming back from uh, the knee injury at the moment. But let, let's hope that uh, everything's going well and he can still churn out a few Ks for us with uh, Sam Beer uh, as the last selected. So uh, probably would have been in my top top three or four if uh, if he hadn't had that knee injury. But... Oh, I did message him during the week and he, and he says he's, uh, he's a goer and he's ready to go uh, and he'll be right by round one. So assuming that means he can churn some Ks out at the moment. So, yeah, looking forward to old Beery providing whatever Beery provides um, <laughs> it, along the way. A mixed bag, isn't it? Yeah. Well, you'd just... hope he's ready by round one considering we don't know when it is. Yes. Um, That's very I true. Know. And, um, yeah, I've heard a few different stories about his golf game at the moment too. Um, that I'd love to ask him one day when we're obviously when we're crossing the border or something like that. That uh, got a few interesting questions to ask him about his golf game. I supposedly has accidentally hit the ball off the tee a few times in his practice swings. Um, I've heard that too. Mm. Yeah, in competitions, and he's had to count the stroke. Um, oh. And we know he handles stuff like that well, don't we, Jacko? Yeah. Also heard he's nearly done a walk off a few times. Obviously, uh, doesn't. Yeah. Doesn't cope too well with Jacko, that. I think we might get a chance to grill him. Oh, okay. Jacko, I think we might be able to get Sam on the line. Let's hope so. I've heard those rumours as well. I'm not sure if he's around. Here we go. And, oh, uh, oh geez, we're oh, like, uh, What's he done here? Uh, <laughs> down there. Meant to, be, <laughs> meant to be PG rated here, Sam. Sam, thanks for joining us for the Ram Olympics draft. Jacko's got a few questions off the line, but first, mate, welcome. And are you a bit disappointed to be so low in the draft? I'm... What are you doing, Jack? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I was waiting the whole night, really, and I, I reckon I'm going to be an absolute steal in the draft. A bit like a um, Dane Swan, pick 54 in the 2003 draft, and, yeah, it's floated and become a superstar. There you go, Jacko. You had a couple of questions lined up. Yeah, firstly, which pick um, did I go? Well, oh, no. sixth last. Yeah. Um, firstly, <laughs> bit of a uh, bit of Mr. Freeman coming out here. Sam, can you please change your background so I can actually see your face, please? Yeah. Sam. Sorry, my other computer broke, and I don't have a green screen properly. So, um, funny story why my computer actually broke, but. That's <laughs> well, so it's just, tell it. <laughs> go on, mate. It's your show. <laughs> Now I don't know how to fucking change it. Hey, PG, PG. (laughs) Freeman, control your superstar. (laughs) Is it too late to change it? Hold on. Yep, yep, yep. I found it. Is it too late to rip up a draft ticket or what? (laughs) Oh, there we go. Oh, there he is. Got him. Oh, fresh haircut there. This is the type of composure. Yeah, looking. I wanted to look sharp for draft night. All right. Firstly, Sam, obviously, just give us the update on the knee, mate. How Are we getting some running in? Just give us an update. Uh, yeah, it's been going all right. Been smashing the rehab. Um, started running yesterday, actually. So first run in a while, um, which was good to get done. Um, so yeah, pretty happy about that. What Ks are we talking at the moment, mate? Like what's a what's an okay thing to do with the knee? Um, so yesterday started off with just uh, two minutes running, one minute off. Did did it six times. So session was about three and a half K all up. All right, so we'll need to add to that, won't we, over the next few weeks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah we'll course, into it. That's good. That's good, mate. Now, um, obviously, being a bit of a member at uh, Eastwood Golf Course with a few of the other Rams boys in, or Tyson, uh, Twos, uh, Small, uh, and ex Rams boys in uh, Jason Kilby. Just, uh, I've heard a few rumors about your golf game recently, mate. Um, do you want to just just let us know anything right now, or would you? Rather me uh, ask the question. Yeah, look, I'm not the greatest golfer, I will admit. Um, I'm, I've got all the gear, but have no no idea. So, um, but yeah, first round back actually, there's a bit of a funny story. So, we're on the one of the holes, and 
I was absolutely having a stinker. Um, couldn't hit the ball to save my life. I was so embarrassed. We are playing with some random bloke as well. Um, and I was having a shot in with a gap wedge and I was having a few practice swings and I had my ball there and I had my first practice swing and I nicked it and it ended up going into the water. So that was one of the shots. Um, so my first practice swing, can't swear, um, has gone into the water. And so I've got, and I've said, boys, like, I don't know what happened. They're all on their knees laughing. And, and I've gone, all right, I'll drop another ball, dropped another ball down. No penalty because um, they changed the rule. I've had another practice swing. I've nicked the ball and it's gone into the water again. <laughs> I've hit two of my practice balls into the water. At the end of the round, um, Jason Kilby, a few of the boys will know him, um, X ran, goes to his dad, oh, yeah, I don't think there's a penalty if you do it once or something like that. And But Beery did it twice. Surely that's a penalty. And Johnny goes, nah, there's no penalty for that. Only a dickhead would do that. <laughs> so, absolutely told me a new one. I think Johnny will call that. Yeah. Uh, Sam, you, you nicked the first one. Why did you not step further away for the second practice swing? Yeah, I, I, it's probably, yeah, I'm not sure really, to be honest. I just, yeah, I was in a bit of a, uh, <laughs> a it was a bad round, Matt. So um, it was a bit flustered at that time. So maybe <laughs> this... like you to let you ever... Uh, no, I was going to say... Uh, <laughs> now, so obviously this uh, this knee injury or knee operation actually come in a good time for your golf game, it seems, Sam. Just to, you know, relax off the golf game for a bit. Yeah, well, I had a uh, couple, uh, two months off the golf game, but so getting back into it now. But Dan obviously has called it quits for the health and safety of Victoria, which is a bit disappointing. But I've got, obviously got to do the right thing to get everyone better. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go into a political yeah. debate with you because we know how that ended last year. Um, <laughs> but I just what about got... the water bottles, Jacko? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, no, everyone should buy plastic water bottles. It's more oh, convenient. You're on your own there, Beery. Um, just another question, mate. I just, yeah, obviously you've already alluded to on uh, how you feel about your your low draft pick. Obviously, uh, very good runner when you when you're up and about. But how do you think you're going to deliver for the team um, with a bit of a bit of a limp at the moment? Um, are you my captain? Are you my coach, Jacko? Did you draft me? Yes. Did. Yeah, well, you're the new Steve Monaghetti, so I'll just have to cheer you on. You seem to be doing all the Ks at the moment, so we've got one of the best in the league at the moment, so I'm sure you, you'll be able to take my place without doubt, so I'll just provide all the support at the moment. So you're going to provide us nothing, is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's how I interpreted it. <laughs> uh, I'll provide the support, So, but yeah, athletic ability, yeah, won't be providing much. Okay, and I've just, I just, yeah, obviously we've already alluded to before that Sometimes maybe you can get in your own head a little bit and you're the first to admit that. Um, I'm happy to, as a team captain, maybe send you a few podcasts just on those longer runs that you can just get out of your own head a little bit and just tune into the podcast and kind of just keep going across the border so we're not, you know, uh, frazzled for a better term uh, yeah. while we're running. Yeah, send them my way, Jacko. I love a good podcast, so I okay, wouldn't mate. mind it. Sounds good. I'm looking out for you, mate. And all the best uh, with the uh, all the best with the rehab, mate. All the best. Ah, uh, cheers, boys. Thanks for having me. Before we, no, before you go, Beery, you said you had a funny story about how your computer broke. Is it is it PG related, mate? Are you able to tell that story? Yeah, it's a PG related. It's actually pretty stupid though. Um, so <laughs> one day, I I don't know why I did this, but I was watching Love Island, and I I was getting to a good part of the story at the like episode, and I've I've got to have a shower. I was going out, so I'm like, shit, like, I've put me computer. So we've got, obviously, a shower and then, like, the basin sink. So I'm getting undressed and stuff. Good part of the episode. I've put it on the basin sink. And we've just had our bathroom renovated at the time. And I turned on the shower. And for some reason, the pipe at the top of the... <laughs> the uh, pipe at the top of the shower has, like, bursted open. Water sprayed, like, rot left. And went all over my MacBook. <laughs> and all I just see the MacBook just like flicker in and out, black, and then just turned off. And now I, I didn't really want to buy a new one because it's going to cost me about two grand.
Did, did the guys at the Apple store maybe say you don't take your Mac to the shower? Or no, I didn't take it to the shower. I was like, I wasn't gonna. Well, I was t- about to turn it off. I was turning the shower on, and it was a stupid decision. Yeah. So, um, yeah. You were turning on the I take the MacBook to the bathroom. Rory, do you know what Love Island is? <laughs> oh, I think it's a TV show, isn't it? It is. Well I would know. Rory. <laughs> yeah. well, Love Island. It sounds yeah, like Love one Island. Of those it sounds like one of those shows where all those influences go. Yeah, you pretty much. I mean, that's it. That's that's pretty much exactly the right. They right. It when sounds they came boring. Up with it. Sounds boring. No, it was good. Good episode, but yeah, disappointingly, my yeah, like my MacBook uh, died from it. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, you win some, you lose some. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> right. But I think that's saying applies to what Sam did. But thanks for joining us, Sam. There, a low draft pick, but like you said, plenty to offer. You know, injuries have curtailed you, and hopefully, you're a bit more of a Dane Swan than a Scott Gumbleton. Um, but thanks for joining us, mate, and uh, good luck with it all. No, nah, no worries. Honoured to be a part of the Steve Mortigetti team, Jack and Freeman. That's right. On your monitors. <laughs> thanks, Barry. Hey, Barry. Thanks, Barry. Hey, boys. Hey, Barry. Hey, Barry. Alrighty. Well, whilst Beery signs off here, hopefully he doesn't take that laptop into the bathroom. Ackers, you can uh, finish off your team, mate. Yeah, I'm just recovering after that experience. <laughs> <laughs> Are you still in? Uh, yeah. I'm trying to get out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, gonna, I'm just Hold gonna you. remove him. I just, I'll put him out of his mystery. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, um, I, I wondered what progression Sam Beer had had in the year I'd taken off. And so it's been, no. <laughs> that question's been answered for me pretty quickly. <laughs> um, my last two picks, um, similar um, message to what Jacko said before. Um, this bloke I hear um, withstood a trip to the practice matches last year with Jordan Roberts. So anyone like that has good mental fortitude. So I've gone with Campbell Mole. Um, and last pick for me, um, it's a little bit of a, an olive branch here between the spin pit and the fast bowling cartel. Uh, just to say sorry for all of those years uh, of cutting you off as you run in. Um, uh, so I've, I've selected yourself, Matt, fast fight here um, with my last pick in the draft. No, thank you. Because it's, uh, it's good to, to cross enemy lines, mate, and, and find out how you blokes work on the inside and, and why, why you're so weird. But it's, I think it's quite a good lineup we've got here. I'm, I'm pretty excited. Um, like you said, a few motivated types, a few spinners that just do weird stuff, but they cover a lot of ground and, and yours truly. So I'm excited. Cameron Moles a good pick though, mate. He, he gets the job done. There's a bit of X factor about him. Wouldn't you agree, Paddy? Yeah, absolutely. Man of a few <laughs> words there, Patrick Ashton. Uh, <laughs> a man of few subways. Bobo, you can wrap up your team now, mate. Yep. Yeah, um... I've gone with a bit of an X factor here. I reckon this bloke's going to bring a bit to the team. Uh, he's been very uh, active on his Instagram account recently with stories, and that's like his Tom Rogers. Uh, I reckon Digger's going to he'll just add add that bit of flavour to our to our group and a bit of a mentorship to those younger fellows. Um, and then with my last selection, I think it'd be um, silly of me not to select our professional player at Ramland and and someone who bowls really really fast, if not. Faster than you thought, in uh, in my opinion. Uh, so I've gone and selected Zach Evans as my my last selection. I think obviously being a professional, he'll uh, have to do a lot of running because it's like his job. So yeah, that's a good that's a good theory on that, Bobo. It's each Bobo's actually that's really smart picking because obviously Zach's allowed to run as a professional sportsman and cover a lot of K's and and Tommy Rogers. I'm pretty sure he's actually in regional Victoria, Bob. So he'll actually be allowed to go further than five kilometres. So You've unknowingly had two great picks there. I'm not just a pretty face, uh, pretty smart guy. <laughs> Although I'd question, I'd question the intelligence of calling out fight. Um, I'd probably <laughs> just make sure that the net manager ensures you're not in the same net, Bob. <laughs> State of disaster, mate. What, what worse? How could it get any worse? Like <laughs> the all clear. Got the all clear. And source, you you know a bit about Tommy. There, he's you know. He's found love and all of a sudden he's found the running track. Yes, uh, very, very surprising with that. But, um, yeah, I reckon he's fudging some of his uh, some of his running there. But uh, I didn't say it. But 
Do you reckon? Yeah, put him in the uh, Bailey the Chad Eustons? Yeah, I reckon could be in the same same category. Doesn't matter how you get him as long as you get the case done. <laughs> well, Strava should debunk some of those theories, but no, it's a it's a nice team you've got there, Bobbo. So looking forward to see how your combination of youth experience and professional cricketers work. Um, and and finally, Source, you have the the first pick, and you can have the last couple, mate. Uh, my last two. So I've gone a bloke, unfortunately, not playing footy this year. So fingers crossed will um, give me plenty of Ks. But uh, I've gone with Jake Tui. Um, it will also bring um, good banter for the lads, which is what we need on such a such a long journey. And um, the last one, uh, professional player, Ian Holland. Uh, not sure if he's going to do many Ks for us, but fingers crossed here and there we'll be able to chop, chop us out. The, the dingo, he started well over overnight for Hampshire, but hopefully he's wearing his watch while he's out in the field there, so that'll be a few cheesy Ks for you. Yeah, I mean, if you can just flick Strava on in the outfield. <laughs> what what do we all think of uh, Saucy's last two picks there, Jacko? Jack, two of you've played footy against him. What, what do you think about his running capabilities? Oh, definitely. When he's when he's up and going, he's an elite runner. Uh, potentially, the COVID situation has maybe got the best of him. Um a lot of golf. Uh, don't know mm. of how much running he's done. Obviously, loves the the Seven Eleven stop in two in the morning. So it's it's an interesting one there, Josh. I think uh, um, yeah, you could you could get a really good Jake Tui, or you could get a slightly uh, you know Seven Eleven type of Jake Tui traveling along the Nullarbor with you. So good luck. Big big task ahead for you, Saucy, to try to get the most out of him. So that's all that all the teams completed. Obviously, you're all going to be biased. So, and again, Patrick, you're on a team, but hopefully, you can be a bit neutral for this. Who would you say has got the, the strongest outfit? You know, just off the top of your head. Ooh, look, <clears throat> Ackroyd's uh, ties to the spin pit are quite strong. I have to admit, a um, little bit shattered that I didn't get picked up there. Um, but yeah, obviously, I'm um, really excited to be on Josh Hartill's team. Um, some really good picks there. Um, Matt Gale, obviously great inclusion. Phoenix Beck is um, going to take us in some interesting directions there. Puts his mind to things. He um, yeah, gets a fair bit of it out of himself. So, yeah, no, look, I'm, I'm excited for, to be with Joshy, really. Absolutely. And, and Maury, I like your team, mate. You've, you've got a few characters. And what's your main motivational tactic going to be, mate? What, what do you think? Um, well, if the boys don't pull their head out... And get the K's in the legs, there'll be consequences. Let's just say that. So it's probably fear factor for us. Fear factor. We got we got the um we got Jake Carter. I don't mind getting angry either, to be fair. No. And then we got Beery as well. He can um he can definitely fire up a bit. But then we've got the um we got calm Sam Wade there just to cool things off again if um too many guys get a bit loose. But yeah, I think um all, all in all, I think we're pretty well rounded. Really, we've got um, a couple of good athletes, a couple of guys that maybe are a little bit slow, but they get the job done. So, all in all, I think we're pretty um, well rounded. To be fair, there, Fot. Absolutely, I, I agree with you. That you, you spoke about, you know, having some angry blokes. If you do get on the wrong side of them, there might be a trade table, Bobbo. Is there anyone you've got your eye on, or anyone, you know, thinking about making a play? Obviously, Jacko, you and Beery look like you might have clashed heads there. Is he possibly trade bait? <laughs> I think I could definitely float his name up there for sure. Um, you know, you, you never know what you're going to get out of old Dicky Knee. So, you know, we might be able to just put him on the table and see what we can get in return. Absolutely. Well, gents, thanks for uh, for spending your, your Sunday afternoon in this new disaster zone that is our state um, and, and doing the super draft here for the Ram Olympics. Um, we'll do, I will put an explainer. Um, in hopefully clear detail in the WhatsApp as well. So people, after they watch this video, if they're no doubt confused, will be able to, to outline it. But thanks for thanks for joining me and that well done on selecting all your teams and hopefully we can all stay fit, stay safe and, and sooner rather than later, we'll be enjoying a, uh, a frosty cold one down at Ramland together. Thank you. Thanks, thanks boys. boys. Thanks,